Today I'm going to show you how to prepare Persian rice cookies. These are delicate fragrance and absolutely delicious cookies traditionally prepared for no ruse. So I'm going to prepare this recipe in three parts. First, we'll start with the dry ingredients. In a medium-sized bowl, I'm going to add my rice flour. Baking powder and salt. Typically, you'd want to sift the dry ingredients together, but a quick trick is just use a whisk and vigorously stir. And this is a great way to add that air that you want in your mixture. I'm gonna need one whole egg and a yolk, but I need to separate the egg whites. Add one egg white into a stand mixer bowl and we're going to whisk it until it has that nice fluffy cloudy pillowy texture and I'm going to need an additional egg yolk in a stand mixer bowl I'm going to whisk that one egg white In another stand mixture bowl, I'm going to cream my butter and icing sugar together. My shortening, and I'll just cream everything together. I like scraping down the sides and then I'll add in my egg yolks and vanilla and give it another mix. Gradually add in your dry mixture. Next, I'll gradually add in my rose water, and this is what makes this recipe so special. I'm gonna change and use a paddle attachment to help me fold in the egg whites. Okay. You want to make sure not to overmix. You want to just incorporate the egg whites into the batter. Look at how beautiful the consistency of this cookie dough recipe is. I'm gonna let my dough rest in the fridge for at least an hour. And if you have a lot of time, ideally overnight. 
and then we can start baking them. So I've allowed my cookie dough to rest for about an hour and now I'm ready to shape them. And I've got my little ice cream scooper to help me just scoop out little balls. And what I want to do is scoop out about 10 grams of this dough. And this ensures that I have a nice consistent size of cookie. And basically what I'll do is then shape it into a little bowl. And you just want to be really gentle with this dough because it is very fragile. Okay. There you go. And then place it on your cookie sheet. So I'm just going to pre-measure. Once you've measured the, the weight of each cookie dough, just shape them into little dough balls. Now traditionally you'd flatten these cookies with a little cookie stamp but an alternative is just to get a cup and gently flatten if you find that the dough is sticking to your cup just give it a little coat with the rice flour and then just dab it down yeah that makes it so much more easier And with a spoon, you can make a little design. Now typically you would add some poppy seed garnish over the cookie, but since I don't have that available, I'm just going to garnish with some finely ground pistachio. And this is ready to go into the oven. I've preheated it at 150 degrees Celsius and I'll bake for around 15 to 18 minutes. My rice cookies are ready and they smell incredible. It's truly a nostalgic recipe that reminds me of my childhood, my grandmother, and I just love making it. Hope you guys try it at home and wishing you all a Nooruz Mubarak.